Well, let the porch talks begin. <laughs> um, here's an interesting thought. Uh, okay, as you can see, we have no special guests today. I'm not sure when the special guests are going to start, so if y'all want to be a special guest, give me a yell. You know, I, I never realized how loud it is out here until I started trying to tape and hearing traffic, which there's not... I'm in the middle of nowhere. I live in the country. Um, <laughs> so God has sort of been giving me this picture of him as my champion. And he, I mean, I was praying one day and I felt like he actually, you know, said that. Let me be your champion. And so I started trying to think of places in the Bible where it talks about, um, God being a champion and I, I, I'm going to look it up because I don't know that I know of a verse that says God's your champion but not to being a Bible scholar not being a theologian not being a religious leader or even a teacher I could definitely be missing the boat on that one so don't take my word for it if you think I might be wrong, take a look in the Bible and let me know. I think I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> anyway, so I was trying to think of some places in the Bible where, okay, it says he's a champion, but then I'm starting to think of some, trying to think of some places in the Bible where uh, it shows him to be a champion, even if it doesn't use the word champion. So, I mean... Let's talk about a couple couple of them. First, one that I can think of is um, that makes God our champion is he stinking beat death. He kicked its butt. Um, he totally died. He allowed himself to be killed. And there was a point to all of that. He allowed himself to be killed so that he could pay for all the crappy things that we've done um, that's pretty huge he allowed himself to take our place because the penalty for sin in the universe at large is death you can choose not to believe that mm, I wouldn't recommend it because I'm pretty sure uh, if you choose not to believe that and it happens to be true oh not good for you um, so you know, the penalty in the universe for sin is death. And uh, the only way for us to get out of that is either not to get out of it or for someone else to die instead of us. Jesus came. He did that. And so he took care of all that, except if you don't choose to... Um, if you don't choose to accept him... It doesn't do any good and that's kind of sad sad for you and me if we don't choose to accept them but it's sad for him that he went to all that pain and um, sacrifice to literally give his life for you and you just decided eh, no thanks I'll try and get in on my own you ain't getting in on your own um, anyways He's a champion. He beat death. Yeah, he died, but I mean, he rose from the dead three days later, literally kicked death's butt and said, you ain't winning this one. He was victorious. Champion. Champion. He is your champion. So here's the thing. Whatever you're facing today, God is your champion. We're going to talk more about this, I hope, tomorrow. I don't know if I'll do it from out here. We'll see. Um, we're going to talk more about this tomorrow. God is your champion. Um, it's going to be a great day because anything you're facing, he can handle. Like, he's better than Rocky Balboa. And I, I do like me some Rocky Balboa. Um, so whatever you're facing today, walk forward knowing your champion is fighting for you. And there's nothing that he can't win. There's nothing he can't win. 
uh, have a great day.